everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to be drawing a, a sea turtle. A sea turtle. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Crazy pencil. <laughs> we're going to get started with our pencil and we're going to use real light pressure right now to figure out where our turtle is going to be on our page and some of the basic shapes that are going to make up our sea turtle. So I'm going to start out with an almond shape in the middle of my page here. So this is going to be the front. We're going to have his head somewhere in here, back in with his fins coming down like this. So we're going to start here in the middle, light pressure, just figuring out where he's going to go and it's going to be kind of an almond shape, yep, as you'll see there. That looks exactly like an almond. I think it's pretty close. That's the best way I can describe it. An almond is like more of an oval, but that's pretty close to an almond. Yeah. That's like as close as possible. Right there, yep. I'm going to make kind of a little circle here. A little more like an oval here in the middle of my almond on the left hand side. Um, that's going to kind of tell me where his, his neck is going to be connecting and where the opening of his shell is going to be on the top. So right in there and then I'm going to bounce, I'm going to have his head going to be right in here. So I'm just going to do a circle for that. That's kind of telling me where his head's going to be. I'm going to actually go a little bigger with that. I'm going to go kind of like this. This is how giant my head's going to be. <laughs> Yeah, and I know that his neck is going to kind of start out there and go in towards the body like that. It's going to be something like that. Right? And then actually, just looking at this right now, I'm going to bump his shell on the top up a little bit and have it connect back there. No, mine's just flat. <laughs> yeah, you might give him a little bit more of a bump. I just want him to have a kind of a bigger shell there. Mine's just flat. Yeah, there you go. See, yeah, everything's rough right now. All we're doing at this stage of the drawing is just rough drafting in our, our picture and figuring out where things are gonna go. And that's why as you'll go, you'll start, oh, okay, I want the head a little bigger, I'll make my circle bigger. I want the shell a little bigger, I'll pop him at, pop it out up top there a little bit. So that's normal. Nobody is gonna draw exactly right their first time. That's why we do this kind of rough, roughing in phase with our pencil of, with light pressure. So we try it like three yeah, times. Yeah, and then now, right, what I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a ridge for a shell kind of coming up from behind his neck and it's gonna go up like that over the neck and it's gonna come down like that towards this tail back here. Oh, we're not going to be able to see his tail, but that's where his tail would be. It would be back there. So it's that's like a gonna, really tiny triangle tail. <laughs> that's going to be how it's going to follow. And then I'm going to follow that line. because It's going to be kind of a thicker ridge he's going to have on his shell. Could be a boy or a girl. Whatever you want. Mine's going to be a girl and I'm going to put eyelashes on it. There you go. Okay. And then right about here is where his fin is gonna pop out. And I'm gonna have that kind of come out like so, and then it's gonna kind of curve back down here. I'm gonna make it kind of big. So it's gonna be kind of like that. Well, it's huge. Yeah, I'm gonna have to connect it up there a little bit closer. I like that. that there the, we go. Is that the back fin? This is the front. Another one is going to be poking out from behind the shell right around in here. Now, it's only going to come down to about right there. Too skinny. No, if it's too skinny or too fat, change it up. See, I'm kind of still adjusting the shape of mine. And then back here, right towards the back of the shell, where the back fins are going to come out, and they're kind of a different shape. Those are. Yep, they're like kind of a square. Yeah, they're almost like a square in a way. Yeah, it kind of starts skinnier where it connects right here under the ridge of the shell and kind of fans out. Like so. I just do some little, those are like kind of, they have like little almost toe things on there. 
Like they have toes. Yeah. Turtle toes. <laughs> okay. So now we've got some basics going. Now eyes, I know on this, I'm gonna make them kind of big. I'm gonna do a big oval right there. And then I'm just gonna, you're gonna be able to see it kind of poking out on the other side of his head. So I'm gonna throw a little bump out there out of the back of the head, on the back side. You're doing great. I love the way yours is looking right now. And then I'm gonna follow the top of the head down that circle. I'm gonna kind of have it bump out a little bit more where the front of his uh, mouth is gonna be. And it's gonna come to a kind of a point and go back and then I'm going to do a little squiggle and like that <laughs> kind of got a I don't know he's just kind of a kind of an Eeyore turtle <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just going to draw two straight lines it kind of looks like a nose. about that far apart on the eye and then the bottom I'm going to follow the circle I made and I'm actually going to give him a little bit of a wrinkly neck so it's going to kind of sag down right there before it goes back into the body okay and then underneath here the bottom side of the shell I'm just going to do a line coming in like that and then I'm going to have it go dive back down underneath the fin here like that before it connects back here Like so. Now at this point, things are roughed in. Lightly, we, I'm happy. If you're happy with yours, then we're kind of ready to start going through and adding the details with our pencil with firmer pressure uh, prior to the next step, which will be inking after that. Once we have our turtle basically drawn and all defined and detailed. so. I'm going to start going through now, starting with the head, and I'm going to push harder now so I can see clearly what I'm doing. So I'm going to start on the top of the head here, and I'm going to follow it down to the front of his mouth there. You'll notice I don't always exactly follow my rough draft lines. That's just from drawing for a long time and kind of knowing what I like the look of as I'm going. And, Sometimes you'll get drawn and, and you'll want to try something, go for it. If you think something's going to look better than what you originally did, you can do that now. And I'm going to add some additional details here, some wrinkles in his eyelids that are going to kind of go across like that. Same thing with the bottom here. I'm going to have that kind of go like so. I'm going to just throw some wrinkle lines in there like that. And then underneath the eye, I'm going to do some additional wrinkles there. And I'm going to do a little cheekbone there. And now, I'm going to connect right there the eyes. And now I'm going to go ahead and follow the chin down. Have it connect there and back, and then the back of the head is basically just completing that circle. He's gonna have some neck wrinkles there where it's connecting back to the body. Got some saggy skin on the underside here. I'm gonna do a little shine circle there, a smaller one there. I'm gonna do another one on the other side of his eye. And we'll fill that all in black when we ink it. I'll do a couple little spots on the top of his head. I'm going to follow him back on the neck too. I'm going to go ahead and do some. Do as many as you want. Whatever feels good. Draw a little crack in his beak there. Call it a beak. I don't know if that's really what it's called but yeah, it is. It's is it week. perfect I got lucky okay I so that kind of turtle. It's gotcha um, so now I'm gonna start on this ridge line I'm gonna follow it around now there's gonna be some additional details here that you'll see as I go I'm gonna go up I'm gonna add a little circle well not a circle like a curved a circle. mark there Half a circle. yep 
because, you know, I don't know. I just like that look on a turtle shell. I don't actually think they have that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> My turtle does. Dirt, because your turtle's beat up. <laughs> yeah, he's a old dog, you know. He's been, he's been around the block. He's... Been He's sharks? been in the ocean f for a while. Sharks have been eat attacking him. Oh yeah, his shell's all built up from all the years of battle that he's had to go through in the ocean. Now I'm gonna shoot up here with his shell. I'm gonna go over, I'm going a little higher than I originally planned because I wanted it to pop up a little bit more and then I'm going to shoot back down here. And now, and now, I'm going to go ahead and do this fin. I'm going to give it a little wrinkle there. There we go. Going to bounce out and come down to there. Like that. Alright, looking good. And now we're going to do an undershell. I'm going to do a crack in his shell right there. Because sharks are going to attack him. <laughs> maybe, maybe you just, you know, got caught in some waves and got bumped into some rocks. Who knows? And so you see how I did that? It was just a line and then I did a little triangle into the other side there. It almost looks like a crack in it. Okay. Now that I've gotten that, are you? Is that are you? Okay, cool. Don't forget to do the front of the underside of his shell because that's going to be about this one's behind this because we're looking at him this way. So we're going to draw this fin popping out from behind the underside of the shell there. There you go, good job. Now I'm gonna follow the underbelly here. And right here where this other fin pops out, we're gonna stop, because this is coming out above that bottom part of the shell. Mine doesn't have any cracks in it. No cracks in yours is a nice pretty sea turtle and that's great. some little wrinkles where that one's coming out from the underside of the shell. I'm going to do another one here. And then I'm do some spots. Spots? Yeah. On the fin too up here. It's a dog turtle. <laughs> well, if you look at sea turtles, they actually have a lot of Kind of irregular spots. I'm doing circle spots for the fun of it, just because I like drawing circles. I like to draw squiggly lines. And add some more, more little, squigglies. there, little squiggly. And then now I'm gonna do some pattern on the shell I'm here. I'm doing squiggly spots. There you go. I'm gonna kind of do some almost like hexagonal type shapes to kind of. Typical stuff you see it's on a... It's like what it looks like on a turtle's yeah. Kind of does, yeah. If you look at them. I'm going to double line those. some little lines coming out from the corners. I don't know why this feels right. That's kind of how art is sometimes. Okay, and then I'm going to do some lines on the bottom of the shell here. Okay. All right, I'm liking this. 
do some bubbles coming out from kind of the mouth area. I like to zigzag and have them progressively get smaller. There is no rules there. You can do your bubbles wherever you want, however you want. I know turtles, sea turtles don't have it, but I'm going to go ahead and add a couple little hairs on the head <laughs> just for the heck of it. You know, why not? Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this turtle. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start um, inking my turtle at this point. And what we're going to do, are you ready? I'm going to start with a bull marker. I'm going to try a different marker today. I got this new uh, Prismacolor marker that I'm going to try out. And I'm going to do it for my outline. So I'm going to go around the outline of my turtle with a bold marker. You can use whatever kind of bold marker you've got. I got a Sharpie. And we'll do that prior to moving on to the next step when we ink the details with our finer tip. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that now. Now that we're done outlining our turtle, we're going to move on yep, to a finer tip marker or pen. You can use whatever you'd like. Uh, we're going to go through the interior of our turtle here and start doing the details. So I'm going to do that now. Now I'm done going through and detailing my sharp with my fine tip marker. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase all the pencil lines that we use to get our turtle this far. So get your erasers out and I'm going to do that now. Okay, now that I'm done erasing, I can see uh, my turtle a little bit more clearly and I can start adding some finer details, which I'm just going to do some hatch marks um, on the underside of my turtle that kind of symbolize where shadows would be. So I'm going to go through and also what happens sometimes is when you have all that pencil on there, you might realize you forgot to ink something in. like this crack here on a shell, like so I need bubbles. to fix that, or maybe bubbles. the bubbles, and you go back through and make sure you get your details added in that you may have missed, and then, so I'm going to do some of these hatch marks here on the other side, now you don't have to do this, uh, you could definitely just do the shading with whatever it is you're going to color your turtle with. Like markers. Like your markers. You could like, just do a darker color. Like um, a dark green. Yeah, you could if do you're a, gonna a dark turtle. green if your turtle's green. Or a dark brown if your turtle's brown. Yeah, I, I, this is a style thing. So, you know, you don't have to do it. I don't like this for you guys. I like to do it. So, if you want to do it, go ahead and follow along.
Okay, guys. I'm feeling good about this. This is about done here. I'm going to go ahead and throw my signature on there. Right in... Right here. Don't forget to sign your drawing when you're all done. And date it. So that you can look back and see how you've progressed. Oh! Almost forgot something. I'm going to do some little marks on the underside of my bubbles. Go through and do that. Then I'm going to do some circles on the top side where the light's hitting them. On the bigger ones. There and we're going to go. call it a day on this. What do you think? How's yours? Good. Good? Yeah. You ready to color? Okay. Our turtles are all inked and ready to go for color. And that pretty much does it for us. We're going to speed it up for the coloring part. We'd love to see how you guys color your sea turtle. Tag us on Instagram, Wild Style Kids, and we'll share it with our friends on Instagram. Um, other than that, are we, are we about done here? We hope you guys enjoyed this lesson, and we look forward to the next one. We'll see you next time.